So if you start putting your questions in Discord, we'll get to them, but we do have some top secrets first. Mm. Uh, I'm going to show a couple videos, and then we're going to talk, talk about some of the things that we've been up to. So take it away. Past us. Past us. Okay, Lady, what is this? Uh, I've been playing around with lots of interface circuits, like rotary encoders. I like these. They do rotate all the way around. And if you remember old iPods, they also had a rotary wheel. Um, that clicked around and that's how you would select songs. So this is actually from Zippy. It's, it's not from a real iPod. It's just very similar to it. And you can see as I rotate the wheel, it's being read by this Feather M4 and it's uh, making the NeoPixel go around. And then when I press the up button, you see the red LED on the top turns on. This is the left button, the right button, the bottom button, and the middle button, which turns all the LEDs on. And then if you look at the computer, uh, you see it's reading the encoder and keeping track of the direction. So this little breakout I made works just fine. So you'll be able to use it on a breadboard. There you go. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I built a tester for uh, the Seesaw Rotary Encoder. So this is an I2C to Rotary uh, Encoder Converter Manager that uses a SAMD09. And I'm using uh, this Metro Express to run the SWD DAP code that will program in this chip. So I put it down here and I press the button. It will program it and then that's how I know it's working. It's all rainbowy. And then when we go over here, uh, this is what it looks like when it's fully assembled as a rotary encoder uh, and it's being driven by a, a Metro Mini. And then um, the commands to control the rotary encoder and the NeoPixel um, are all done over I2C. So you can see a stomach QT cable. And uh, you can even see there's a little interrupt pin over here that whenever I twist it, it goes high and low. So that's uh, me just testing out this new hardware that's coming to the Adafruit shop soon. This? Hey, I'm making a NeoKey Trinky tester using a Teensy 3.6 and our Teensy brains. When I press this button, it goes through the whole procedure, programming, checking the USB and locking the chip. It finishes in about three seconds. And then I've got a beautiful NeoKey Trinky. And then what you do is um, people can pick what Cherry MX key they want to solder onto it. And then uh, you can have like a beautiful glowing keycap that does one thing. In this case, it's just doing a pause consumer control, but it's reprogrammable in Arduino or CircuitPython thanks to SAMD21 E18 on the bottom there and the reverse NeoPixel. So very cool, very fast, very easy. Gonna be in the store real soon. Neo Key Trinky, your best friend from Mechanical Keyboards. Okay, and then I uh, wanted mm. you to talk about what is this thing? Oh, this is my layout for the rotary encoder uh, tester. I use a Metro M0 to program the SAM D09 on the rotary encoder. So this is like an all-in-one tester. All right, and then this we talked about on Desk of Lady, mm. but this is a big deal. TB2040. Yeah, this is an Arduino uh, Pro Micro shaped board, but it runs a RP2040, and we posted everything up on our blog, but... Take uh, a look, folks, and, and I'm gonna send out these prototypes soon, so let me know if there's something yeah. I messed up. If you, you do Keebs, if you do Keebs, you're gonna like this, because it's the only replacement that's out there that's an RP2040. Yes. And it'll be CircuitPython. And we have a bunch of updates to CircuitPython. We'll make this the and best check out keyboard. those D plus and D minus pins. Yes. For those two people who are wanting this. <laughs> That's top secret. <laughs>